The state has officially arrested their rebuttal in the Alec Murdoch murder trial. Murdoch is accused of killing his wife and son in June of 2021. Now we spent the day hearing testimony for six state witnesses in their reply to the defense's case. Michael Higdon has the details on what comes next and when we could have a verdict. First thing tomorrow, the jury is set to go to Moselle to see the scene of the crime in person. There are thoughts that could happen today, but the entire day was filled with state rebuttal witnesses. First to the stand was Ronnie Crosby, one of Alec's former law partners. Crosby testified that Alec never told anyone until he was on the stand last week that he was down at the kennels the night of the murders. Harputlian also got frustrated and implied that Crosby was letting his anger about the money Alec confessed to stealing to influence his testimony on the stand, which Crosby vehemently denied. Didn't say I forgave him. You're just not angry about it anymore. I said I have no feelings and, and I had to work on that, Mr. Harputlian. You know, it, it, when you go through what we've gone through, not only the trauma of losing people we loved in a double homicide, seeing the out aftermath and then learning that someone you worked with for more than 20 years had been stealing for throughout a period of time and deceiving us, there's a lot of emotion there. And yes, it, it, it was bad in the fall of 2021, and I have found a way to have no feelings. We also heard from Dr. Ellen Reamer again, the pathologist who performed the autopsies of Paul and Maggie. Yesterday, the defense called its own pathologist who disagreed with how Paul Murdoch received the deadly head wound, saying it would have been a contact wound, meaning the shotgun barrel would be flush against his head. Reamer said that absolutely was not the case. When we have the worst gas expansion, we the entire face, he would have not even had a face left I mean, it sounds, I know what you saw was awful, and it was absolutely awful, but the damage would have been a lot worse. We also heard from Dr. Kenneth Kinsey, a crime scene analyst, who said you absolutely could not rule out that the shooter could have been 6'4". The defense has argued previously that the shooter would have been about a foot shorter. He also disagreed with the defense expert witness that Paul was shot from behind with contact. I think the theory is preposterous. In my opinion, we're talking about steel, BB pellets. They will turn around because of the pressure, go back the opposite direction, 180 degree direction at enough velocity to dent a steel exterior door and embed in the door frame. That doesn't happen. Now we are expecting to hear closing arguments from both sides tomorrow and obviously it will depend on exactly how long the deliberation will last between the jury, but we could see a verdict by the end possibly of this week. Reporting in Colleton County, I'm Michael Higdon, Live 5 News. Now here is a look at the trip the jury will take tomorrow morning. The Mazelle property is about 30 minutes from the courthouse in Colleton County. This video only goes up to the gate. After that point, it becomes private property. The jury, however, will get to go past the gate and go inside the kennel, inside the feed room and the surrounding area to see the murder scene firsthand. One of Murdoch's attorneys, Dick Harpulian, says this trip will truly show the jury how small the crime scene is.